So, what do you want me to say? Just, you know, uh, your character's name, the concept behind it, and, you know, a picture. Yeah. Okay. Do you still have it? Tell me when to go. Go ahead. Okay. My character's name is Briarius Hecatonalis. He is kind of a robot bunny man, and he's a soldier who fights with guns. And the idea behind this, I suppose, he's sort of a character from an anime that I enjoy, and I've adapted him to the game as best I could. Don't forget to say your class. My class is, uh, arbitrator? Mm -hmm. Arbitrator. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. What about, uh, Tara? Um, my character's name is Impietris Devi. And, <laughs> <laughs> and she's a guardsman. And this is what she looks like. She's really cool. Hmm. Um, she has a awesome gun blade. And that makes her really cool as well. And she comes from a really crappy planet, so she's very tough and awesome. And she actually comes from this planet. I didn't even get to check my makeup. That <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Go mask up. This is Grail. Grail is the best because she's a psyker and she's the only psyker. The end. Is that a new so picture? She does too look like that. Is oh. that a different picture? No, that's pockets. Mm. I like that. That's pockets and stick. Oh, giraffe. Giraffe. Woo! All right, my character's name is Endolian. He doesn't really have a first or last name. He's a <clears throat> pirate prince. Comes from a long line of uh, pirate kings and a very cool underground dynasty. This is what he looks like. He is a swords fighter. He wants to be the best swords fighter. He doesn't like guns. They're too impersonal. If he's going to kill you, he's going to chop you up in person. So that's pretty much his aspiration. He wants to be the greatest of the great, despite his upbringing and the people he surrounds himself with. And he is something of a tech head. Oh, before I forget, he is a scum. He's a, he's criminal. Okay. I have an uh, off-worlder, Esmeralda Corio, but we just go with Ezzy. She's probably one of the most useful characters as of right now in the game. Yeah. Why? No picture. Why is she the most useful? <laughs> she now has the highest stats. What is she again? She's the biggest one. She's, She's the biggest assassin. Sword. Wicked awesome. Yes. And then eventually the dungeon master will return. He's over there getting a drink. Where, 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 you know what? There's game masters. No, trust me. Yes, In my um, games, there are dungeons. And you know me. I am the game master of the Zephalum sub or excuse me. He's so cute. <laughs> I am the <laughs> game master of the Thank Zephalum Crusade campaign. And unlike their single characters, I get to play all the characters. Awesome. Yes, Mom's this gonna is true. <laughs> all right. This is true. We can um, edit that out. <laughs> No, right. just going on YouTube. Um, yes! That cannot work. That's pretty much my introduction. I can't exactly start <laughs> listing NPCs here. Um, I guess I will say my inqu my main inquisitor for the campaign, and their inquisitor obviously, is Inquisitor Persephone Domino. Domino! Domino. Be my woman. Uh, Persephone Domino is a very elderly inquisitor. She's pushing, <laughs> she is uh, pushing in her 600s. And She's in her prime. She's in her 600s, and she doesn't believe in rejuvenation techniques or uh, augmentics, so she's naturally old, and so she's very aged, and she can't really go onto the battlefield like she would li like she would like to as she used to. So she has lots of acolytes that she sends up to That's do her work, too. but she is still psychically very powerful, so she keeps track on them uh, via her powers they are wonderful. and keeps them in line via her powers. She's very practical. But she is still a Puritan and set in her ways of the Burn Ordo Zenos. So um, it has been a few weeks since the last session, and everyone finds themselves back on Terracana. If you don't remember, that's the world with the walking cities. Yes. His is shaped, shaped like, like a bunny, a apparently. Anyway, <laughs> I will drive one one day. After your escape from the Saint's Promise, 
and you made your report to Domino, she broke cover and gave the and gave the order to the naval vessels to shoot down the Saint's Promise. Unfortunately, um, Cal Venric also broke cover and gave counter orders to those same vessels, saying to capture Domina because she is a heretic. Since uh, confusion is since confusion is still running rampant through the Crusade forces, and since both of these Inquisitors are recorded as being dead, uh, the so our uh, good old friends in the Navy pretty much just stuck their hands in their pants and said, we're going to go ahead and wait this one out. Well, Domina obviously wasn't too happy about that. So she went ahead and approached the presiding High Inquisitor, Cassius Novalis. Yes. Hey, pay attention. Because we killed Boycraft. No, no, no. He's the head inquisitor. Boycraft was uh, the Lord General over the Crusade. Well, what happens now he's gone? The Lord General, awesome. Well, that's that's what the confusion is right now. Oh, okay. The fact that there was a gene stealer cult in the High Command. Stop playing. <gasps> that There's... is so cool! Hey! Pay attention. Best feature ever! It's important. There was a gene stealer cult in High Command. <laughs> Hence why they were confused. Also, the Tau started to make their move on, this, on the systems. What did? The Tau made their move on the systems. Woo! So, the Crusade forces are confused. Hence why they pretty much stuck their hands in their pockets and said, Okay, we're going to leave this one alone. I'm listening. <laughs> she goes to high, presiding High Inquisitor Cassius Novalis and gives her report, tells him everything that she's been doing. He dispatches Inquisitor Delcroix 